needs a haircut. Here, buddy. Jamie, going to, oh, my boot fell. Sorry, James. We're gonna paint these. So. <laughs> my name is Kara Lockwood, and I am from Kara's Color Me Vintage. I am a serial DIYer. <laughs> and um, by serial, I mean I can put off and put off and put off what I have have got to be doing to do something that I want to do, which is usually a DIY project. Um, and, and, and most of my DIY projects involve painting. I do make soy candles and I dabble in like any sort of craft that I see on Pinterest. Anyways, so I know that um, some of you have seen some of my videos in which I'm, I'm painting furniture and doing different processes on furniture and I appreciate any of you who are watching. Um, but I'm always using DIY paints. I'm a retailer of DIY paints. I have a shop in Allen, Texas. Um, you can also buy them online. I'll put a link on my feed when I'm done. Um, but they're also available here in Crossroads at Southern Chapel Vintage Market. Anyways, so I use these paints from everything from painting furniture. I've been doing some as abstract art. Um, I have some art on my walls in my house and in my booth. And today, we are going to paint boots. So, um, because with DIY paint, it's 100% water-based paint. And sorry if that jiggles. Every time I touch the table, it's gonna jiggle. Um, it's water-based paint, okay? And it's, it's made with clay. And the clay is what um, bonds to just about anything. So you can paint wood, you can paint metal, you can paint plastic, um, and you don't have to prime it, you don't have to sand it down. In fact, all of the furniture I do, I rarely ever sand anything down. If I am sanding it, it's because I want to change the texture. Um, but usually I like texture, and so, you know, because I want it to look colorful, and I do, I do most things colorful. So you can paint leather. And you can paint fabric, you just have to water it down a ton. You can paint glass, and all you have to do to paint glass is spray it with spray shellac. And so those little mason jars, like if you paint it straight with any kind of paint, like you know, if you're making your own chalk paint at home or whatever, if you paint that straight onto a jar, it's gonna peel off. Um, even you know, if you paint it on, it, on anything, well, it, it will peel off. But same thing here. So, this paint is, this type of paint is the only type of paint that's going to be successful with this. So you don't, um, you know, I mean, you wanna use the good paint. Anyways, and it comes in beautiful colors. So basically, all I did to prep these boots is, was I took Wasi tape. And so here's another fun tip. Don't use painter's tape. If you're trying to, um, um, paint things off and nothing will leak under this stuff. You just like press it down really good with your finger and you'll get these beautiful lines. So if you want to put stripes or, or cut off anything, um, it's, a, it's really much better. It's an investment more than painter's tape, but it's definitely worth it because it won't bleed through. Um, I haven't used it on walls yet. That would be rough because it would be a lot. Anyway, so that's all I did to prep this. There's no prep needed. So I am using... Um, Carnival Red. There's no reason, no need to stir this up. It's ready to go. I'm not, um, I, well, I'm gonna, I started my other boot yesterday, but I didn't know whether I was gonna need to water it down or not, and it turns out that I didn't. So today, I have no water. I'm just going straight on. So I'm gonna put my arm in the boot. See, okay. And we're just gonna go straight on. Um, I'm not going to paint the bottom. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that after, after we get this painted. But here we go. You ready? Are you guys ready? Actually an old brush that I had because I paint all over the place. I paint upstairs. I paint at the Southern Chapel Vintage Market. And so most of my brushes were upstairs. And after a long day's work, sometimes I don't want to go up there. And so I just grabbed this out of the kitchen sink <laughs> where I was cleaning it. And it's an old wax brush that I have. Okay, see? <laughs> see?
See how awesome that is? So it's wet, right? So it's a little bit shiny right now. Um, and it's going to dry a lot lighter than this, kind of into a, actually, to be honest with you, I'm gonna show you the other boot because we're gonna do waxing on there. But to be honest with you, this dried into, this is Carnival Red. So this is DIY's Carnival Red. So this is real soft leather and it has a lot of crevices and cracks in it. So I'm going to go in there. How cool do you think I can do the same thing with my homemade chalk paint? Um, Susan, so if you're using homemade chalk paint and, well, and you're making it with like off the shelf, Home Depot, Lowe's, I don't know, any of them, Sherman Williams, even though they say it's water-based and there's no VOCs, there are definitely plastics in there. Okay, it's, it's, they all have plastic. And I know this because I do stenciling and every once in a while if a customer doesn't have a color, doesn't want a color that um, I have um, and I can't blend the right color for them because, I mean, I can do it, but whatever, um, I will use a flat paint from Lowe's or Home Depot or Sher Sherwin-Williams. And I know that's the base for most people who are using their own, making their own chalk paint. And that gets on the stencil and it, it will peel up in big strips to take it off. Like I have to clean the stencil constantly because it gets all peely. So you wouldn't want to do that on leather or on vinyl because it will not bond. Um, you just don't want to do it. That is a red cowboy boot. Do you see that? Is that crazy? Okay, so it's a red cowboy boot and it's gonna, I'll set it here. I'm working on my kitchen table. My husband's not here. He might be a little annoyed with me. Um, hopefully it won't fall onto my beautiful table runner. But um, I've got a piece of paper down. So, okay, it's like one of those cooking shows where they have the, um, the baked the, the baked goods are already done. Okay, so this is the boot that I did yesterday. Now, it now I, it's not done, because now, now I'm gonna add some dark wax, but I want you to see close up. So this part, I, I put the wax on this morning, so I let it dry. Usually you're supposed to let it dry overnight, but it was long enough, I think. Um, but you can see, can you see there's shine? Shine to it? Is that cool? Okay, so this part, there's no shine because I haven't buffed it. So I'm gonna show you all you need to do to buff it. Can you see how that's dull here? Can anybody see that? Okay, okay, yes, okay. Yeah, give me thumbs up or hearts if you can tell. That's how we can communicate here. So all I'm gonna do is I got a regular shoe shine brush. You can use a lint-free cloth. You can use anything um, really to, all I, all I have to do is go like that. And that was like three seconds. Do you see the shine that I just added to it? Can you tell? Okay, so I'm gonna shine all the way around that top part because I um, haven't done that. You guys, I have, so I only moved to Texas in February, but I've only bought one pair of cowboy boots since I've been here because I already own five pairs. So. People, I remember my friend, um, Tracy Palmer, she went out here, somebody I had just met. I, ju I had just been out here, and she's like, you already dressed like you're from Texas. I'm like, ah, that's easy. Okay, so do you see how shiny that is all of a sudden? Is that rad? It's so rad. Okay, but I don't like the color of them. They're a little bit too pinky red, see I have red on, they're a little too pinky. But I want them to be like more brown and blackish red. This is brown wax, dark wax. I wish I had black wax, but I didn't have any here except this other studio. So I'm going to put this in the boot and it won't rub in totally because, um, because I already waxed it with clear wax. So the paint absorbed the clear wax, okay? so. I'm just gonna rub this in nice, just all over the front. I'll just do that section for now. Okay, ready? Okay, so see, some of the red's still showing through. 
but now I'm just going to buff that right off because there's already wax in there, so I don't need to wait. Now there's the color red that I wanted. And the more I buff it, the more it's going to shine. Rad? Is that so cool? <laughs> right? Jean, how do you do that? Insane. So there's another thing that you can do with dark wax, with any of the color waxes. Um, well, there's we. So the DIY line has dark wax, which is like a brown wax, a dark brown wax, white wax, and then a black wax. But the clear wax you can make into a, any color just by mixing some paint, and it's super easy. I do it all the time just to get like I like the um, on my furniture. I like the finish of wax better than the top coats, but um, they have a really great top coat. Um, but you can mix paint in it and get any color wax finish. Okay, so I'm going to buff that a little bit, and then I'm going to show you what else you can do with your wax. Look at that, you guys. Is that the coolest thing? I think I can sell these. No, I like them. I might wear them. I think I'll wear them tomorrow. Anyways, okay. So, see that? Better color, right? Wax. Yes. So the wax brings out details in wood. It brings out scratch marks and, and all the, um, the fun character that you actually, you know, once you start doing this, you like this. You know, you like the more character your piece has. The wax will bring it out. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to darken up this heel with the wax. And so this is wood. They're, these are Justin boots, so they're real nice cowboy boots. Um, yes, I'm painting my Justin boots for any of you who are boot lovers. And if you don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> okay, so see that? Okay, I'm going to show you the comparison on the other on the other one. And when you put wax into raw wood, it soaks up really nicely, really fast, and you only need to do a little tiny bit of buffing, and it's beautiful. And often, if I get a, a piece of furniture that just is dry, I can add some wax to it, and it just really brings it alive. Now look at the difference in the heel tone. See the difference? One's much darker than the other. Is that so? I'm feeling very blessed and um, getting the best of the season. All right, take care. Mm -hmm.